It's being reported that Rosie Duffield has resigned as a Labour MP. The Times newspaper is reporting that she's blaming Sir Keir Starmer's cruel and unnecessary policies and the freebies row that is engulfing him and his party. Rosie Duffield's resignation from the Labour Party marks a significant moment in UK politics. The MP for Canterbury has left the party, citing her deep dissatisfaction with Sir Keir Starmer's leadership. Duffield's decision to resign comes amidst growing controversy over what she describes as Starmer's cruel and unnecessary policies, and a mounting scandal involving his acceptance of high-value gifts. As she steps down to sit as an independent MP, Duffield has unleashed a stinging critique of Starmer's management, accusing him of tarnishing the Labour Party's once proud reputation. Her resignation letter, published in the Sunday Times, paints a picture of disillusionment with a party that, in her view, has strayed far from its core values under Starmer's leadership. At the heart of Duffield's critique is a scathing assessment of Starmer leadership and what she describes as his cruel and unnecessary policies. Her resignation letter pulls no punches, accusing the Labour leader of hypocrisy, avarice, and a fundamental disconnect from the party's traditional values and voter base. Duffield's specific criticisms focus on two main areas, Starmer's acceptance of substantial gifts from Labour peer Waheed Ali and the party's decision to maintain the two-child benefit cap while proposing to scrap winter fuel payments for millions of pensioners. The former MP's language is unequivocal, describing the current state of the party as one of sleaze, nepotism, and apparent avarice that are off the scale. This harsh assessment speaks to a growing disillusionment among some Labour members who feel that the party has come at the cost of its core principles and commitment to social justice. Duffield's attack on Starmer's personal conduct, particularly his acceptance of expensive gifts, strikes at the heart of his attempts to present Labour as a party of integrity and sound governance. The contrast she draws between Starmer's personal wealth and his willingness to maintain policies that she argues entrench child poverty is particularly damaging, as it undermines Labour's claims to be the party of social equality and fairness. The timing of Duffield's resignation is particularly significant, coming as it does in the midst of what has been dubbed the passes for glasses controversy. This refers to questions raised about who approved a Downing Street pass for Lord Alley following Labour's victory. The revelation that Starmer received a further £16,000 from Lord Alley, in addition to previous donations of clothes, glasses, and accommodation, has intensified scrutiny of the Labour leader's relationship with wealthy donors. This affair has not only provided ammunition for Duffield's critique, but has also prompted calls from opposition parties, notably the SNP, for an investigation by the House of Commons Standards Commissioner. The controversy threatens to undermine Starmer's efforts to present Labour as a party of probity and ethical governance, in contrast to the scandals that have plagued the Conservative government. Duffield's resignation letter also takes aim at Labour's policy decisions, particularly the announcement by Chancellor Rachel Reeves that older people not receiving pension credits or other means-tested benefits will no longer receive winter fuel payments. This decision, part of a broader package of spending cuts aimed at addressing what Labour describes as a black hole, in public finances left by the Conservative government, has proven deeply controversial within the party. Duffield's condemnation of this policy as one that will make many older people iller and colder encapsulates the concerns of many Labour MPs and supporters who fear that the party's fiscal prudence is coming at the cost of its commitment to social welfare. The broader context of Duffield's resignation is the ongoing debate within Labour about its direction and identity under Starmer's leadership. Since taking over from Jeremy Corbyn, Starmer has sought to reposition Labour closer to the political centre, distancing the party from the more radical policies of his predecessor. This shift has been motivated by a desire to make Labour more electable and to appeal to a broader swath of the electorate, particularly in traditionally conservative-leaning areas. However, as Duffield's resignation demonstrates, this strategy has not been without its critics within the party. Many on the left of Labour feel that Starmer has abandoned core principles in pursuit of power, sacrificing the party's commitment to radical change in favour of a more cautious, managerial approach. Duffield's accusation that Starmer lacks basic politics and political instincts 
speaks to a broader frustration with what some see as an overly technocratic leadership style that fails to inspire or connect with voters on an emotional level. The personal nature of Duffield's attack on Starmer, particularly her criticism of his managerial style and technocratic approach, highlights a growing dissatisfaction with his leadership among some sections of the party. Her assertion that Starmer's approach has come crashing down on us as a party after we worked so hard, promised so much, and waited a long 14 years to be mandated by the British public to return to power, encapsulates the frustration felt by many Labour supporters who fear that the party is squandering its opportunity. In conclusion, Rosie Duffield's resignation from the Labour Party is a major development in British politics. Her scathing critique of Keir Starmer's leadership touches on many of the key issues facing the Labour Party today, from policy decisions like the two-child benefit cap and winter fuel payment cuts, to broader concerns about sleaze, nepotism, and hypocrisy within the party. Duffield's departure highlights the growing discontent within Labour's ranks and raises serious questions about the party's future under Starmer's leadership. As an independent MP, Duffield is likely to continue to be a vocal critic of the Labour Party, and her resignation may inspire others within the party to speak out against the current leadership. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you found this video interesting.